All right, hello everybody. My name is Dalton Rutherford, and welcome back to Sailwind. Uh, we are about to depart from All Nylum, and we're going to head south to uh, Neverden. And once we get to Neverden, we're going to be leaving the junk behind and uh, taking the, uh, the, 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 the Dow up to Gold Rock City to have it customized. I'm going to move the microphone a little bit closer to me, sorry. I do need to get a new microphone, I really do. Um, this one, it was a good idea at the time, it doesn't have like the little fuzzle stuff that my, uh, old microphone did, but I don't know, I don't really like the audio from this one. So, uh, anyway, let's just go ahead and get underway. And I'm going to have to decide what kind of cargo I'm going to take with me, because the Dow doesn't really have a lot of room. Obviously, I'm going to be taking, like, all my navigation stuff and whatnot, and... Yeah, okay, <laughs> that's, that's the stuff I'm taking with me. Yeah, that's the wrong thing, but... Okay. Anytime you're ready to depart, boat. Anytime you're ready. I'm not going to lie, I am kind of looking forward to getting the Dow, just because it's, it's so simple to operate. Come on. Guess I just have to give you a little push, don't I? There we go. Some movement at last. Is this? Yeah, we should be fine. So, yeah, I think what we're going to do is we're going to switch back over to a small boat for a while just to kind of get used to it again. And then once we start doing another open ocean journey, we'll switch over to the uh, sandbuck. Or, you know, maybe we'll do a couple of journeys back and forth from the, uh, from the Dragon Cliffs. That could be kind of fun in the Dow. It's going to take an absolute freaking day and a half, but um, might be kind of a fun weekend event for me to do, especially whenever I don't have a lot going on. And hopefully I had enough momentum to make this turn. Come on, big girl, you can do it. Oh, yep, here we go, here we go. We should start picking up the wind again. And there's Neverden out there on the horizon. I don't know if you guys can see it there on the video, but it's just behind this little support pillar thing here. On the horizon there, that is Neverden. Not that I not that island. But that one way out there. 
<clears throat> so, yeah, this right here is the island that we're heading for down here at the, uh, well, you know, the one that says Neverden, basically. <laughs> um, I really got to figure out what I'm going to take with me. I think I'll start getting everything sorted out off screen and I'll see you guys back whenever we are either passing by the Isle of Clear Mind over there or whenever we're finally getting close to Neverden. So I'll see you guys in a moment. Okay, well I do believe those are the lights to Neverden up ahead. Neverden is kind of a cool island, I'm not gonna lie. Um, is that the AI boat? No, I don't think so. There's an AI boat out here around, like, around here somewhere, but, um... Can't see it yet. There's an AI boat that it's... Pretty much every starting island that you start the game at has an AI boat that comes and visits it. Uh, every so often. It's just kind of a script, and I'm pretty sure that whenever you get close to it... It, the ship is just supposed to just kind of like start making a beeline straight for that island. Um, the one at the Astrian region seemed to actually travel around from island to island, but the one at the Dragon Cliffs, the one that sailed into Crab Beach, it just seemed to like go out west of Crab Beach and just kind of instantly turn around. This one, I'm not too sure on what it actually does. It, it's just another Dow, though. Alright, so the sun is coming up. We'll be there very shortly. I'll see you guys whenever we actually finally get there. Ah, yep, there it is. That's the AI boat right there. You can see its sail moving. And then that over there is the dowel that we're going to be getting. Question is, do I want to leave this here at the dock, or do I just want to drop anchor somewhere? I suppose I could beach it, if I needed to. We got 15 grand in terms of this kind of currency. But for right now, we'll just go ahead and dock it. And, uh, ooh! That over there is the Lion's Fang Island. Then I think you can just, just... Well, maybe not. I thought I could just make out the island that we just came from, but apparently I was lying. Okay, so the AI boat is going to dock on that side, which means I need to try and dock on the east side. Let's go ahead and start lowering the aft and rear sails. Wait, aft and rear are the same thing, aren't they? Okay, bow and stern. That's, that's more proper. an eye on what the heck this guy's gonna do because the AI is not exactly that intelligent I don't want him accidentally bumping into me and okay where are you gonna go where are you going to go okay, you're gonna cut in front of me 
which is actually not that big of a deal. Yeah, okay, this will this will work. So yeah, this is the type of boat we're going to be getting for anybody who doesn't know. It's a small thing, but it's very easy to handle. I say that now. Watch me fail miserably. <laughs> this rope. Make a jump for it. We'll grab this rope. We'll tie it up to... I guess we'll tie it up there. Oh, I see. Okay, this one was just an empty... It didn't have this thing. Gotcha. So yes, we finally have the the Dow. Let's go ahead and Do I not have I've got way more than enough. What the What's going on? Why 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 can I not buy this thing? Copper. Might be because I'm on a mission. Who knows? Let's just go ahead and empty out all this stuff, and then I'll be uh, back, and we'll see if we can't figure this thing out. What was that? Okay, well, we'll just pretend we didn't see that, I guess. <laughs> the dolphin boat, it followed us back. It followed us all the way over he over to here. It just changed its skin. That's... <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, it's back. It's back. Are you going to start doing it again? Yeah, that's right. You keep on sailing as if nothing ever happened. Hey, that boat actually has a driver. Okay, I'll just unload the rest of this stuff off screen and I'll see you guys back in a moment. Okay, I got all that stuff sold off. Let's uh, see if we can't figure out what's going on with the Dow now. Is it because the ship is not at... Um... I might need to look up some help here. Give me just a second. Well, this is interesting. I just went onto the Discord and asked for, like, any advice. They said it's kind of a known issue. But... Apparently, starting in the COG causes some problems with this because I've tried numerous different things here. I have uh, asked on Discord, obviously. I exited the game um, and come back in and the game's still not allowing me to buy the Dow. This is weird. Um, well, crap. Kind of puts a damper on my plans. I wonder if there's a way I can, like, transfer money between saves. Huh. Well, this is just... Okay, well, I guess we'll just head back to Gold Rock City and we'll play around with the Sandbuck for a while because I'm not entirely sure what else to do at this point. 
So let's just head back up here to the trade office and we'll uh, try and take some missions. So we've got lamb. And right now I'm not after money. I'm just after reputation for now. Um, I want to get that discount for, for buying things. Okay, so let's take the lamb to Gold Rock City. Let's take some more coconuts. Okay, so that's all I can take for right now. Actually, can I? I don't think I can. I was thinking I could try and put like three boxes, like in the actual cargo cargo holding areas, but no. <clears throat> well, I could put three in, but um, not the way I want to. Like I thought, you know, I could put every box underneath the cargo holding areas, but I don't think I have enough room. Oh well. I'll just put them over here along the wall. Hey, that's everything loaded up, and it turns out I can't trade anyway because... Ah, oh, I see, you're back. Um, yeah, I can't trade anyway because I don't have the reputation, so... Might as well just start doing missions anyway, I suppose. Okay, uh... Let's see here. I think for now we'll just go ahead and raise up all the sales we can. And by the looks of it, we should have a pretty favorable win for just he heading to uh, Gold Rock City. I suppose maybe before I left the Dragon Cliffs, I should have just bought the Kakam. You know, the starting boat that you get at the at the Dragon Cliffs, but I just didn't want to spend the money at the time. But if I had tried and I couldn't buy it, then I guess I would have known that there would have been an issue with the, with the Dow, potentially. So I'm just going to go ahead and use one of these. I've got so many of them, I might as well. So yeah, this is a uh, this is pretty much what it's like sailing in this region. It's pretty calm. The winds aren't just out of control. So the region to sail in is pretty straightforward, but unlike the other two archipelagos, you can't see pretty much every island like right off the bat. I think that over there is the Alchemist Island. No. Nope. Nope, never mind. I lied. That would be the lion's fang. I think. Nope, nope it would be. God, I hate people like that. I really do. I do not want to hear your music while I'm inside my house. Making the freaking walls vibrate. It's ridiculous. going about six knots.
Maybe just get a bit more speed. Well, yeah, I did get a bit more speed. <laughs> We're going about seven knots now. Maybe eight or nine. Nope, I think, it, I think doing that I just lost speed. Okay, so. Looks like 7 is pretty much going to be what we get, take or leave, so. Oh well, it's fast enough. We're not in any big hurry. we got three days to deliver this stuff. But whoa, 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 okay, let's not do that again. That, that was kind of scary. him down I want to see Donald Trump get in and actually carry out his agenda on okay ignore that sound that you just heard that was the video I thought I had paused <laughs> um, yeah turns out my mouse is still like over on the other monitor for some reason so kind of run that whole you know scenic relaxing part of the video didn't it well, here we are, arriving back at the Gold Rock City dock. And that's the sandbuck over there with its enormous freaking sails. Um, yeah, I'm still kind of puzzled on what was going on with the Dow. It's very unfortunate. I was really looking forward to upgrading it and customizing it, but I guess we'll have to take a look at that like on a different save file or something. It's unfortunate, but I don't really know what else to do. Or maybe we'll just take a look at it whenever we start doing the uh, next series of this game, which is going to be like the island randomizer stuff. Um, I don't really know what to expect with that mod, though. I don't know if it like randomizes literally every single island, like maybe even Kronos could appear in you know the position of Gold Rock City or something. Um... It'll be interesting, to say the least. But I, I'm kind of looking forward to it, though, because it, it'll kind of mean, like, every island doesn't have the exact same theme going on in the same region. Like, all along, for example, it's very deserty, it's very dry. Um, with the island randomizer, there could be, like, a mixture of all along, the dragon cliffs... Uh, Fort Astrin, all those islands just kind of combined into one region. But at the same time, I don't know if it just like places the maps random or the, the islands like randomly throughout the map. It will be kind of interesting to see, I think. Need to keep in mind about the about the shallow water. And see, in the Dow, 
I could probably just sail like right next to that outermost plank and be relatively fine, but in this thing, yeah, no, I've got to come all the way out here. And I think for good measure, we'll also kind of play around with the sail customization on this thing. Even though I think... Actually, am I even going to waste my time? No. I think the junk is sophisticated enough. It doesn't really need any... extra... sails on it. I think it's just fine as it is. The sand buck, however, we can definitely play around with, which we'll be doing very, very shortly. Okay, finally got this thing all nice and docked up. Let's uh, start unloading it. Come on. Uh, where is the... Ah, oh, it's over here. Okay. I thought that was a closed door there for a second. It's just the way the light was. Nuts. Lamb, huh? Be a nice change of pace from all the fish we've been eating forever. Okay, that's one more mission complete. another mission complete. Okay, so, what have you got for me here? Okay, I can finally use the trading stuff. So, take salmon to all nylum, which is cool. Dates are all negatives. Coconuts are all negatives. Lamb is all negative. Goat cheese, negative. Ooh, hello. Gold to the Dragon Cliffs pays a lot. What about gems? What about gold to Astron? Oh, even more. But it costs 44 grand to buy, which I'm nowhere close to. Bananas, wine, grain, medicine, seafood, silk, goods. Oh, here we go. Okay, goods to Neverden. It's a pretty good trade. As well as all uh, all Nylum and all Lock Academy as well. Okay, so goods are actually a pretty good thing for a local trade. Gotcha. Books, no. White tobacco. Green. T okay, so goods and green tobacco. All Nylum especially. And Albacore Town. Albacore Town and Alchemist Island are the exact same. Oh, Alonk Academy, too. Jeez. What about brown tobacco? All Nylum and... Okay, so, basically, tobacco... Okay, well, it doesn't go to... White tobacco doesn't go, basically, anywhere. About the only place it's really worth taking to is Mount Malefic or Siren Song. Okay, but green tobacco and brown tobacco are a pretty good local trade too. So goods and green and brown tobacco. Gotcha. Um, but for right now, let's take the sandbuck over to the dockyard and we'll start kind of customizing it a little bit.
Okay. Definitely feels bigger. Than the junk. So can I get out of here without running aground? Ooh. Ooh. No. It's not going to happen, is it? Oh, it might. It might. Ooh. We just got away with that. I don't know how that happened, but we just, just got away with that. I know for you guys it's going to be pretty dark, but you'll have to just kind of bear with me here. Maybe... So just try and... It definitely doesn't handle anywhere near as well as the junk did. That's, that's, that's a given right there. So maneuvering this thing is definitely going to be something to get used to. That over there, I believe, is where I'm trying to get to. Okay, we'll keep the sails down just a little bit, just so I get some kind of propulsion. me or does the ship feel like it's faster? That can't be right. And I suppose the sails technically are bigger. Oops, that's not right. Bringing this thing in. Actually, do I need to do that? I don't think I do. Okay, where is the merchant guy? Or the upgrade guy? Hello? Oh, is this it? Yeah, this looks like it's it. Okay, you know what, I'm just going to wait for daytime just so you guys can actually see what the heck's going on. Okay, good morning everybody. Uh, before we start upgrading the, the sand buck, I want to show you guys around uh, Gold Rock City because I just realized we haven't really had a good look around, have we? So, Gold Rock City probably has my favorite marketplace in the game because it's so massive. Like it looks it looks and feels just like a real market. So you've got the water cellar here. 
uh, you've got tobacco here. Um, over here you've got, you know, basic food and um, such merchants. Lamb is the best food you can actually get. Grain, bread, bread? I went real southern there for a second. Bread. Uh, <laughs> um, you, got local, you got local fish. You've got... I'm very tempted to just go ahead and buy that right now, but we'll get back to that. These are the local stoves. These can hold four fish and not three. Uh, firewood. Tell you what, well, I don't have any place to, like, set everything down yet. Um, oh, you even got, like, the all long well, the, the, the Astrin style of cheese. And over here, you've got your beds, you've got your shelves, uh, numerous other things. And there's also a art store in the uh, city as well. Yeah, this shady looking character. And yeah, you can buy like paintings and stuff for your... That looks straight out of Morrowind. <laughs> um, and you've got the Sandbuck. You've got the Dow. Not entirely sure what that's supposed to be. Sandbuck again, Sandbuck again. So, yeah, I didn't see one of these in the Dragon Cliffs. It's very possible that I just, you know, went right by it without even looking at it. Oh, shipwreck. Wait, is that a shipwreck or is that a whale? That looks like a whale to me. Interesting. That might actually be the type of creature that uh, raw lion wants to put into the game at some point. We'll have to keep that in mind. Okay, but obviously these paintings are really, actually not, they're not that expensive, although that one definitely is. 5,000? We'll kind of look at getting a, uh, ooh, three grand for that one. Two grand, two grand, 1,600. Okay. Um, We'll look into getting paintings at some point or another, but uh, right now, I think my money could probably go towards other things, such as upgrading the uh, the ship, and also getting a chrono compass. <laughs> Alright, so let's come over here. We'll take a little look-see at what all we can do here. Okay, so can I get... Ooh. So wait, I can upgrade the rudder? Ooh, okay. I can also go for no roof, which, yeah. I kind of feel like you'd want a roof. Oh, hello. Whoa. Get the long bow sprint, because the long bow sprint is probably going to be the best. Can't wait. Uh, ooh. Okay. So, G 
Good. Okay. Um. This is gonna be interesting. Too short. Can I add any others? No, it looks like just squares. Okay. Ah. Come on. No, mass still too short. How is the mass too short for that? Unless, no. Ooh, okay, so let's go for the team twelve yard. And I can put three sails on this, apparently. for it. Uh, oh, hello. I can actually put two sails on here. Cutter? Another, I guess, just go for two large dows. No, put a maybe just a regular dow jib. No, still overlaps. Still overlaps. Okay, maybe just get rid of that then. Uh, duh, 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 duh. Oh, okay, I think I see. Put you towards the bottom. Then we'll put uh, you up here. No, that still didn't work. God dang it. Just 
still over. What's the point in putting two sails available if they're just going to overlap? I don't understand how that's too short. Like the sail is all the way up there. How does okay, what what is that gonna do? Yeah, you know, I'll have it just just to have it. Okay, I'm not entirely sold on this, but I don't know. This looks kind of ridiculous if you ask me. <laughs> yeah, that square sail I think has got to go. Maybe a Latine? Eh, nah, that just looks ridiculous. A long Latine? Hmm. I'm really not sure. How I should modify this thing, to be honest. Yeah, basically, four grand for this. Four grand is a lot of money. I'm not entirely sold on this either. No. 
What I will do, though, is I will upgrade the rudder. Then we'll get a longer bow sprint, just because it looks cooler. I think the ship can probably do without a top mast, though. Um, I can only do stray sails here. So let's have a 14 inch. If we can, we'll put another and now it overlaps. Maybe try the cutter jib. Let's just try Let's move you down as far down as we can. Then we'll just put you up top. No, still not going to work. out loud. Okay, fine. Just remove you. Hello, maybe that's what I'm doing wrong. Okay, let's put you back. Then you can have a cutter jib. There we go. That, I think I'm starting to kind of get it. Okay, let's see if I can just add another sail here. Not optimistic, but it might still work. No, nope, still overlap. Okay. Then here we can have. Okay, that's not terrible. Apparently I can put a total of three sails on here. I think 
Yeah, that might be a little too big. <laughs> I think a gaff sail would probably be... No. Maybe try... Short gap of eight yards. There we go. Top sail gap. Oh, hello. Yeah, you're not going to work. Apparently gap cells are just not going to work there. <sighs> Maybe just get rid of the middle stray. Still overlap. Okay, so apparently these mainsails are just not friendly with anything else by the looks of it. Um, Yes, my only real option now is Just for the sake of having one, I guess I'll put a small square sail over it up here. I guess that's what I'm going to go with. It's not entirely ideal of what I had in mind, but um, I guess beggars can't be choosers in some cases. Lots and lots of sales, though. <laughs> okay, let's... Uh, we're not quite done with her yet. We still need to get, like, decorations and stuff on her. Okay, so... There we go. This is how I lower you but you're blowing in the complete wrong direction. Okay. 
Okay. Uh, in that case, I guess we'll just do this then. Sales go up really fast, though, apparently. Okay, I'm just going to start bringing all the decorations on board, and then I'll uh, join in with you guys once I've got everything. Um, what the heck is going on with this? The junk sink? Is that what's going on right now? I am very confused about what's going on here. Like, what in the heck? What the heck happened? I think it's safe to say I might have found a bug. Oh, that's the wrong thing. I, I, I am very, very, very confused here. Come on, just... Great, so it looks like I've got a lot of cleaning up that I need to do now. Uh, I don't know why that happened at all whatsoever. Okay, well, uh, I am going to see you guys back in a moment. Apparently, I've got a lot of cleaning up I need to do, so I'll be... I don't know what the heck happened here. This this is very bizarre. Okay, um, I think I got everything uh, that was on the junk. I have no idea how this happened or why... Nope, I'm still missing... The shelf doesn't want to come. Yeah, I, I don't know how or why this happened. Actually, I'm missing a lot of shelves. Um, but the, the junk just decided it wanted to sink for some reason. This is very, very weird. But I, I can still use the bed, though. some things that I'm finding every now and then. Where did that go? I mean, I bought all this stuff. I was originally planning to just leave it on the, uh, on the junk, but I don't want it to, I don't want to lose it permanently, you know? main thing I'm worried about now is, like, recovering the boat and that I'm losing all this stuff. So I'm going to get the things that I absolutely cannot live without. I'm going to put them on board this thing. And we'll see what happens. I, I don't understand what went wrong here.
so weird. But I guess I'll be back in a moment. You know, I've gotten everything off that I remotely care about, so let's see what happens here. I, I still want to know how the heck this happened. Okay. What? What? That's that's not the boat I wanted to recover. And this thing is still... That was not the boat I wanted to recover, game. Hang on. Well, whatever happened... Quitting the game and coming back in seems to have fixed it. I, I, I'm very confused at the, as to what the heck happened, though. I have questions that need to be answered. Right, the junk just sank. It sank out of nowhere. It was moored up here at the dock, and it just sank for no well-explained reason. I, I have no idea how or why that happened. But, looks like we got most of the problems sorted out. I don't know if it just had... Well, it. There's no way it had too much weight on it. I had way more weight on it whenever I crossed the ocean. Either way, uh, I think that's going to be where I wrap things up for, for this video. Um, yeah, I'm going to go and redecorate the the junk, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. So until then, guys, take care.